What is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video, man. So if you haven't already, man, do your boy a huge solid. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Turn on post notifications and join the J.I. Squad, man. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, I am answering the question that you all have. The most asked question, the most commented comment in the comment section of the last two vlogs relating to Vader and the issue that I was having with the transmission. Everybody's wondering, nobody really cares like what really happened to my transmission. Everybody wants to know how I was able to get my full Bowtie E85 drag pack equipped Camaro SS1LE warrantied by a GM Chevrolet dealership. So today, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know. So let's go ahead, roll that intro real quick, and get straight into this banger. Let's get some light in here, man. It's a little dark, but let's get this intro going, and we'll get straight into this banger, man. I'll tell you guys how I did it. Yeah, what's up, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it so, I ain't gonna lie, also, before I even get into this, y'all let me know in the comments below, should I go ahead and... <laughs> but anyway, y'all let me know in the comment section down below, should I go ahead and make a new intro? We've got some very big changes that have been done to Vader since that intro was made and I just feel like you know it's a little outdated but then again it is one of the hardest intros that I've had out of all the intros on this channel shout out to my boy Alex you dig what I'm saying Alex Lens always got that lens magic going down you feel me but anyway um y'all let me know in the comments below make a new intro or keep the OG intro man um but yeah let's get into the meat and potatoes of this vlog how did I get my car past the warranty like inspection, I guess you can say. All right guys, so for those of you who don't know and those of you who are new to the channel, first and foremost, this is my 2021 Camaro SS1LE. It is the 10 speed automatic. And like I said in the beginning of this video, it is a FBO build. So currently the current setup is Speed engineering, inch and seven eighth long tube catless headers, E85 flex fuel kit, GM flex fuel kit from Wild Hammer Motorsports, a ported LT2 intake manifold, and ported LT1 stock throttle body. The throttle body has been ported out to a 95 millimeter throttle body. Um, AWE sponsored, shout out AWE, track axle back exhaust and then a rotofab cold air intake and that's pretty much it as far as the setup goes it is a very simple 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 setup but it works you dig so i'm not gonna well i am gonna change it but y'all get the point it works anyway um so basically how did i how did <laughs> how was i able to get my car warranted still basically bro even if GM would have said, oh, you have mods on your car, we're going to avoid the warranty, I personally still would have been straight. And a lot of you guys may not understand why. And it has nothing to do with GM at all. I bought this car from a dealership out in Liberty, Texas that was a Dodge dealership. It was um, Crossroads, Ram, Jeep, Chrysler, and Dodge. That's the dealership that I bought it from. Now, shout out to Crossroads, but they have this like bundle 
that goes for all of their vehicles on the lot where basically they ceramic coat the vehicle they put tint on the vehicle and then they also have a lifetime powertrain warranty through a third party warranty company that actually doubles back and covers aftermarket parts such as headers cams head work um superchargers turbos whatever you're adding onto the motor and it's aftermarket even if that's the cause of your motor or your transmission grenading itself it is still covered through that warranty so even if gm would have said hey ji look we love the build we love the car we love what you're doing for the brand we love that you keep promoting us we love that you done bought three of our vehicles we love you to death but we haven't reached out to you yet GM reach out to me if there's any GM executives watching this video right now seriously reach out to me <laughs> but anyway um but we're gonna have to go ahead and void your warranty and you're gonna have to pay out of pocket I still personally would not have been paying out of pocket all I would have been paying was probably like a hundred dollars from the deductible of my warranty now with that being said you guys that is me personally that has to do with my vehicle. So I cannot speak for the next man. I can't speak for any of y'all. Simply because of the fact that if you mod your car engine wise, your warranty is going to be voided. It's it. Like it's 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 inevitable. It's gonna happen. They're gonna void it. At the end of the day, warranty work does not get paid for it. Therefore, the technicians in the shop that are doing the work are not getting paid. The dealership is not getting paid. Actually, the dealership is losing money because they have to pay the technician to do that warranty work. So that's why they're so quick to void warranties when it comes to modifications and aftermarket parts being put on those cars because at the end of the day, the dealership's main goal is to get money, not lose it. <laughs> so that being said, how did I still use my GM warranty? Well, I know a guy on the inside. Actually, I know a couple guys on the inside, man. One of the biggest things that is misunderstood to me personally by humans is, oh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. No, it's not that at all. And I'm the biggest believer that that is 100% false. And here's why. It's not what you know or who you know. It's who knows you, fam. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? For example, if you're a basketball fan, this is gonna, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna hit right at home with you. We all know LeBron James, all-time scoring leading champion right now. You dig what I'm saying? Number one scorer out of everybody that's ever been in the league. Still active, amazing, phenomenal player. Everybody that watches the NBA and watch the NBA games, we know LeBron James. We know who he is. But at the end of the day, does LeBron James know us? No. If he did, life would be so much different. You know why? Because at the end of the day, LeBron James is able to pull strings and make things happen that the average everyday Joe, like myself, and like you guys, can't do. You know what I'm saying? But if LeBron knew you, I'm sure he wouldn't mind doing an interview for you and giving you exclusive content. Or signing a jersey for you to go resale and get some money up. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a whole bunch of things that change when somebody in the industry or somebody in a higher up position knows you. Now, if you know somebody on the inside of the dealership that actually happens to be a technician or a service rider, then you know you might get away with a couple things. You know what I'm saying? You might be able to bring your 500 wheel horsepower Camaro SS1 LE 10 speed automatic down to the dealership Catalyst and on a drag pack in the rear and uh, get your transmission solenoid your transfer case your valve body and i think one other thing swapped out under warranty without having any questions asked now that being said as you guys see your boy is sweating buckets i'm talking about buckets i gotta have the ac off when i'm talking to y'all so y'all don't have to hear that wind noise while i'm driving um and vlogging but yeah man that's how i did it 
I got people inside the dealership that took care of me. You know what I'm saying? It pays to know people, but it also pays more for people to know you. With all that being said, y'all, Vader has been driving phenomenal. I haven't had any issues with the car. Um, when I did pick it up at first, I did have an issue as to where it was still kind of doing that hard shifting. But as of right now, the car has been driving phenomenal. I haven't had any problems ever since then. So fingers crossed, knock on carbon. We don't have any issues at all. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Join the J.I. squad, man. Get this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and close this video here. I'm going to roll that outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.